Welcome back everyone. This is like a follow-up episode to the last one I did on couplers. This time I have bought uh, more expensive couplers. We're going to talk about these angle break uh, brackets, how square they are. We're going to talk about the ball bearing mod, which is awesomeness ness. So just doing a slight recap, bought lots of these and somehow Although they look like they're drilled perfectly straight, when you put them on the printer, they induced a slight wobble. Uh, and so I went and bought more expensive ones. This is like a diaphragm one, which has two pieces of flex steel in it, and that steel bends. These are perfectly fine, except for they're much stiffer than, than these. And I really think that for 3D printing, you want something that's really flexible because the frames are not that rigid. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, they did come in this super nice little blue boxy thing. Vacuum packed. Whoa, nice. Uh, and so I have, I bought the normal ones just like this, but from this manufacturer that are on there now, they've got um, nice little engraving, like stuck on little letters from who it came from. Obviously, that's going to be in the link below, and they are perfectly straight and aligned. Woohoo! Now, on that, even if the coupler and the rod are perfectly aligned, you have the potential problem that it's still on an angle because of these. Now, these are obviously cheap, bent pieces of metal. This is not machine, so this is not going to be accurate. And you can take a digital caliper and you can measure them to see how far out they are. I bought four and one of them was a long way out unfortunately i decided to throw that away because i did but it would have been good for this video um, so this is 89.6 degrees which is pretty close but it's not perfect uh, so that would result in a bit of an angle going out assuming that there's not an angle across there on that angle so that's something to be aware of people are still buying straight ones but the doesn't mean that the, the the rod is actually parallel to the arm because of this not being square which of course is the point of this flexible coupler now we're going to talk about the, the ball bearing mod which was not my idea I got it found it on YouTube and the link is below uh, and so really this is all about the fact that this is a spring and for it to be able to function like this it needs to not be compressed if you compress it down then it can't move so we have the problem that the printer obviously sits on it and pushes it together we also have the problem that having any kind of flexy springiness vertically is of course very bad for z height so before i mentioned that you could put it on the screw so before i mentioned that you could uh slide it on down the the motor to remove the springiness which means that the end of the rod and the end of the the motor are actually touching you need to be careful about that because if you push the spring the rod all the way down to there and the rod pushes through all of this then the spring doesn't work because it's actually prevented from moving left or right because of the fact that the rod is now pushed all the way down so we can show that fairly easily all right so now it's pushed all the way down and now the thing doesn't work at all basic almost completely useless in flexibility because i've pushed this rod all the way down which would be then sitting on that i mean that looks ridiculous anyway so you wouldn't generally do that because you'd know that that looks wrong but you might accidentally push it down halfway or something the other option of course is to do pretty much the opposite which will allow it to flex which is to push put this right near the top and push this all the way through uh, which are touching and now it can bend great except for when you actually try this with your hand you'll notice that there's like a flat spot and as it goes around it's not 
perfect. And you realize that, of course, that this has got a bit of a bit cut out of it. And obviously the bottom of the screw is flat. So it wants to sit flat to flat. And when it moves like that, it's actually getting slightly taller. So someone mentioned that you should throw a ball bearing in there. So you put the motor in. You chuck a ball bearing in it. Oops. Oh. Down there. And so the, the whole system pivots on the ball bearing. And the ball bearing gives it the height. To still allow the springiness to move. Which it does. I'm pushing it down as much as I can. Uh, but. So it's pushed all the way down. It enables it to now rotate. But obviously it can't move down because the ball bearing is pushing it. And that was an absolutely amazing mod. That was the bee's knees. I got that bearing just out of a ball bearing. You could buy one. Um, I think that's like a five more bearing. But I think probably like a six or seven would be right. Or better. But anyway, that has made now the motion really smooth. Meant that the weight of the printer is not compressing the spring. And that is just amazing. One last thing, remember that when you're looking to remove a springiness out of your Z-axis, to check to see if you push this really hard, whether or, not, whether or not the whole shaft in the motor will move backwards and forwards, uh, which a lot of them will. And you need to remove the spring steel and put um, shims on the bottom to prevent that. So that's the ball bearing mod. Uh, you should all definitely do that. It's made the world of difference. It enables it to still move, and it's smooth. Perfection. Nice. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.